Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on the card program. Now if you don't understand what you see uh, already on my screen then you might want to go ahead and move back a couple of tutorials and start from the beginning of the card uh, card program tutorials. Okay so now that I got that, that out of the way let's go ahead and um, add a constructor and a, another method that we can use inside of our card class. Now these are all essential because we're going to be using those um, in other classes that we make um, by using inheritance. So let's go ahead and just make a simple uh, method that will or a function that will tell if the car is moving. So we'll just comment this so is the car moving and we'll type public function is moving it's not going to accept any arguments because we don't need any and we will make it a boolean type because the car is either moving or it's not moving it's that simple so now we're going to test if uh, test the speed so if speed and we are accessing uh, the property speed right here so and this uses what's called indirection to where we're not actually accessing this uh, variable directly we're using this property so if speed equals zero and if that confuses you uh, the indirection concept um, then uh, I'll be talking about it later on and you've already been using it a lot throughout your programs uh, so it'll be easy to un understand once you grasp the concept because you've used it a lot so if speed equals zero then what do we want to do we want to just simply return false now if speed is anything else other than zero um, then we're going to go ahead and return true. Now they can also be moving at uh, a negative speed. We're just going to allow that. Uh, let's say they're going backwards. Now this technically isn't right because um, they're always. You, it's impossible to move at a negative speed. You always have to be going a certain speed in one direction or the other. But for this program, let's just allow them to go backwards by using a negative speed. So if it's anything other than zero we'll just simply return true. Now let's go ahead and create a constructor so that um, whenever somebody creates a new car object it's going to go ahead and set some of these values for them so that they don't have to do that. So we'll just go ahead and use the constructor. So sub new go ahead and enter and it'll add n sub for us. So let's just go ahead and uh, set some of the default values for this so we'll set the color, the speed, and the number of doors. So color equals, uh, let's make it red. Speed is going to initially be equal to zero. Or here, int speed is going to be equal to zero. Um, and then int number of doors, we'll just go ahead and set that equal to uh, five. And that's including the trunk. So you got four and then the trunk. So now that we've created our constructor, we can go ahead and head back into form1.bb. And you can see under the form1 load, we don't have to set the color um, to start with because it's already done that for us in the constructor. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and add some arguments for the constructor so that when they make a new car object, it will set it to the color, the speed, and the number of doors that they want. So let's come over here and we'll add a button and we'll just call it accelerate. So we'll set the text to accelerate. We'll set the name to button accelerate. And now we'll go ahead and access the click event for that. So just like all of the other click events, we're going to be using an input box. So we'll just type uh, default car or not default back color. It keeps doing that for me because it's not selected. So default car dot accelerate. And for the arguments, we're going to need an integer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to convert um, a string to that. Now the string that we're going to be used is the string that is that we get from the input box. So input box, uh, please enter the speed in miles per hour to accelerate. So this tells them what to do. 
uh, the title we'll just set it to speed and then we'll leave the rest as default so the first argument of our conversion is going to be the string that we get from the input box and now the second argument we're going to convert that to type integer so now we just need to make sure that all of our parentheses line up so I've got one there and we've got another one right here so we're gonna have to put let's see I think one right there or not let's put one right there okay so now that we've called um, accelerate let's just go ahead and show uh, the car info so we'll just type default car dot to string now I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about this saying like why did you override to string to do this when you could have created your own method that shows the uh, the attributes of the car well the reason I did this is to get you some practice with the overrides and because we're not going to be using to string anywhere else in our default car class so if you call def default car dot to string if we didn't override that um, it would give us back something that isn't useful to us at all so I just decided to override it to give us what we want and it's only going to do that to the class car and anything that inherits it so let's go ahead and come back here and we will run the program and see what happens so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll set the name of the car to uh, let's say Honda CRV so we've got our CRV um, the color is already automatically set and let's go ahead and accelerate it by let's say 60 miles per hour and we'll click OK now if we show the info info if we show the speed I mean not the the info um, we get the car name the car color the number of doors and the car speed now we can keep accelerating let's accelerate by another five miles per hour um, you can see that it gives us 65 miles per hour okay so before this tutorial uh, is over I want to give you guys a challenge now when I give you guys challenges I feel it'll really help you uh, learn Visual Basic on your own um, if you uh, do the challenges instead of just uh, moving on to the next tutorial so what I want you to do is whenever the person clicks set color and it has it shows an imp input box I want you to set the default response as the color that's already there so let's see so you got the default response as string is set to nothing well I want that to be set to uh, the color the that the car is already set to so if you figure out how to do that um, feel free to uh, leave a short video reply um, that would be the best but you could also just leave a comment and tell me uh, how you figured it out um, so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial